you know, Shashi Kanji, what is very clear, and our sting has shown that, this was known. Till a week ago, there were warnings issued. The, uh, the, uh, the local police is admitting that they had sent warnings to their top leadership that this could happen. And yet when it happens, the police are not there on the ground, they are outnumbered. This suggests either complicity or incompetence. Ya to incompetence hai. Either the police there is incompetent or it is complicit. One of the two. How can you have a situation where people on both sides seem so heavily armed and are able to carry out this kind of violence? Not both sides. Then one minute. They, these you are, are making the fake story. Sir, one minute. I'll you let you. You are the fake story. Sir, sir, sir. I will come to you. Let Shashi Khan ah. respond. Shashi Khan Ji, well, sir, I will well, come to you. Well, uh, uh, gentlemen, look, I am not a politician. I am not going to that side. I'll say one thing that in the police we have SOPs, standard operative procedures. Mm -hmm. And the situation in this particular area has been brewing up since February when these two persons, Nasir and Junaid, were killed by God knows by whom I will not go into it. Number one. And secondly, our honorable prime minister has said a number of times that this kind of thing, Kaujantism or whatever it is, is not permitted. First question is why the local authorities fail to take adequate action in this regard, which has been desired even by the Prime Minister. Were they, were they trying to think that uh, the Prime Minister was wrong on this particular thing? And then, coming to this particular issue, for almost two weeks, this social media war was going on like crazy. No attempt was made to stop them. And the standard SOP about this procession is that they have to ensure that the route is absolutely clear and if there is any possibility of any disturbance at any point of time, it is there has to be slight detour, which was not taken. And now your videos out here are saying that the people I don't know from which side, they were all heavily armed. I said that I don't know whether it's a complete or whatever it was, but it's a very serious matter. No, who do we blame? No, no, who do shame. we blame? The top police leadership of Haryana or, 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 or the people on the ground? Somebody has to take responsibility. Let's be clear, yes. Shashi Kanji. If no, the police no, wants, no riot will take place. If the police really no. wanted to stop it, they would stop it. It seems people have impunity. An imam has been it killed was, last night. Who is look, to be sir, held responsible? Yeah, look, sir, I have, been, I have worked in IB for ages. I know the SOP. Written uh, information is shared with the local authorities at the highest level, not at the level of the SH or anything. It means that somebody higher up he just tried to ignore these warnings and didn't take adequate action. No police force, adequate police force was there. It was not ensured that the guys, either from this party or that party, that they were not armed. Mm -hmm. they, didn't not, they didn't take cognizance of the fact that somebody was collecting stones, which were uh, collected from the local queries and all those things. I say it was a failure, a shameful failure all around. Thank you. Okay. Shameful failure all around. Presumably, therefore, before I come to you, Ragi ji, Bansal ji, let's be very clear. Aap, main yo video aapko dikha rao. Us mein lo, people are with guns, people are with sticks. Is this the way a yatra goes? I'm being very clear. Stones have been pelted. Mr. Yogendra Yadav is also accepting that the majority Muslim community in Mayo had, uh, in Mewat has a specific responsibility. But are you telling me that the people who I'm showing you on the video, now, are all people who are who are uh, who are not lumpen elements? What are they? Are they really yatris, or are they out to provoke people with swords and sticks? ये मुझे बताइए। अच्छा आप ये कहना चाहते हैं कि जो यात्री तीर्थ यात्री वहाँ पर पांडव कालीन मंदिरों के दर्शन करने गए थे, साथ में अगर तलवार लेके गए, तो आप उसका मतलब हजारों की संख्या में। ये कौन है ये लोग? मेरी बात सुनिए ना। नहीं ये कौन है? ये मुझे बताइए ये कौन है देखिए राजदीप आप गन नहीं नहीं लोग गन्स के साथ स्टिक्स के साथ आई वांट टू नो हु योगेंद्र को इंटरव्यू नहीं किया था और मेरे को सुनने की आपके इंदर इंदमत नहीं है वेरी क्लियरली सेइंग देखिए आपने जो पूछ रहा मेरे से पूछ रहे हैं आप मुझे जवाब दीजिए टू द पॉइंट आंसर दूंगा मैं मैं स्टेट तो इसका मतलब क्या आप हजारों की संख्या में हमला कर दोगे क्या हमला पूर्व नियोजित नहीं था क्या पहाड़ियों के ऊपर चढ़ करके पेट्रोल पंप चलाओगे हमारे ऊपर गन गन ला दोगे लड़कियों को महिलाओं को मारोगे और मैं कहता हूं ये योगेंद्र यादव जी और ये दोनों दूसरे पैनलिस्ट साहब के बैठे हैं मुझे बड़ा ताज्जुब होता है इतने इंटेलेक्चुअल होने के बावजूद भी इनके मुंह में से एक शब्द नहीं निकला उसको घटना को कंडेम करने के लिए कि इस्लामिक जिहादियों ने उनके ऊपर हमला किया अरे हमले के बाद आपने आपने स्वर तो देख ली 
आपने कोई राइफल तो देख दी जो लाइसेंस राइफल थी वो बिना लाइसेंस के चला रहे थे लगातार हमला कर रहे थे न तो आपके मुंह में से एक जवान निकली सर वेरी सॉरी टू से और न ही आपके दोनों पेनलिस्ट में बोला हिंदू मरा और वहां पर जहां पर भगवान श्री कृष्ण की जन्मभूमि है सर और आप कहें कि हम हमारा छोड़ ले जाने के वजह से सर हमारा एक वीडियो जारी करने से मरा बंसल जी बात कर रहे हैं आप बंसल जी हम स्टूडियो में हैं क्या हुआ है होमगार्ड्स मरे हैं हिंदू यात्री मरे हैं और एक इमाम भी मरा है और उसका उसका असिस्टेंट घायल है ये हिंदू मुस्लिम छोड़िए ये सब इंसान है ये सब भारतीय है हिंदुओं पर हुआ ओके हमला जिहादियों ने किया अच्छा ठीक है देखिए श्रावण के महीने में किया ठीक है उसके बावजूद योगेश्वर यादव यू वॉन्ट टू रिस्पॉन्ड एंड कंडेम इट बिफोर आई गो टू मिस्टर रागी बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू मिस्टर बंसीप he seems to suggest that you are only giving us one side of the story just quickly if you want to uh, uh, correct uh, 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 give a give a clarification rajdi if uh, uh, maybe mr bansal should go home and watch the video of this very show again because i began by saying no matter what those who have felt it stone this is condemnable and they must be arrested they must be punished why do i need to repeat it i am okay. not i mean unlike mr obesi i am not sitting here as a representative of the muslim community or this or that community i am sitting here as an indian who's very concerned that my indians that uh, two home guards who were on duty have been killed possibly one person from the yatra has been killed that an imam has More been killed that. and that the fire is spreading in other places i'm concerned about all of them i i think and i have met all kinds of victims so why should i play any particular side i'm okay. just saying as an indian we should be shocked and we should be very worried about the role of the state as well 